Right then, hello, so welcome to part number one. So this part, I'm going to do another entire world campaign. New campaign, but I'm going to play as the French. The French are pretty good. They got uh, a free general for when you build a fort, a supply wagon, and you get 10% more wood. So they are pretty good. Uh, what did they get? Classical age. Yeah, good cavalry in the classical age. And the medieval age. They have got good cavalry then, real in like real life. Where's the Age of Empires two cavalry? Uh, Age of Empires three cavalry. Like the unit you know everyone gets is like the best of the best, and then these don't get it unless they do get it, but they get this as well. They're faster than normal heavy cavalry. That's why. This campaign is going to be fun. Really with the French you've only got two options. You've got A attack the Dutch or B attack this. This does give you a... Uh, what's it? Another army so you have to go for this. It's a bit annoying but it's the only option really. I don't know much about French history. I know it's the Gauls. It's not actually France. It would have been the Gauls. Um. I would think the Gauls, though, would only be the main one. Like, I know Rome obviously attack and win. A bit later on. This is still like Asian age, though. Really, if you're France or Rome, you've got to attack this one. So Rome's probably going to attack, uh, what's it called, the Sahara Desert, and the Egyptians will probably attack where the Nibians are, the Bantu will just probably attack any area, they won't really, they're not that bothered. Units aren't that powerful in this age, that's the only problem with it. Like, Asian age, like, everything's really bad. No, back off. Over here, oh, it's an army. Don't really want to tangle up with that yet. This is going to be really hard, you know. I can't beat this lot. Can I? Probably not, no. Right, get him. Get him. Him as well. My arm is nearly dead, but I have got some of them. I didn't think I'd have a chance. But somehow I've actually won this battle. Not sure how, but we won. We might get more cavalry though when, when there's about 10 minutes left. If the whole campaign's going to be this difficult, we, we, we could be in trouble. You'd only get back up, but I've not had any yet. This is going to be quite difficult, I think. Um. Yeah, go.
Damn, my horse died. Right, never mind. Keep marching on. An inconvenience, yes. Game over, no. Yo, dude, get him. Got him. Right, just for now. So all my units actually get here. Right, now I go. Right, we're, we're going to come back and win this. We're doing all right. No, you're French, not until the hunt. Come on, let's get a move on. The Huns aren't in this game, I don't think, actually. That's one team that's not in it. I suppose they, they only come in, like, later. In, like, real history, so you couldn't really put them in. I don't think they're in, anyway. They might be, I've never looked. I don't think they're in. All gang up on the same bloke. Two more. This is going to be an absolute bloodbath. This is if it keeps going like this. It's going to be horrible. I need one more person. Wow, this, this has just been really hard. Just any cheap shot will do. Got it. Oh, that was super cool. Right, we're in the classic age. No one would have beat anyone. Everyone just gets natives at this point. It's what natives you go, though. Yeah, they got the Sahara. They would either go that way or that way. They've gone down. The Bantu have gone up. So, oh, oh that's going to be interesting. So the Egyptians have got two armies. The Bantu have got borders like me. But they've only got one army. Ooh, that's a bit vulnerable. And the Nibians are in the same boat. If you're the Nibians, really, you should go for that. But then you can't, because I've gone for that. So I get two borders. I get a bit of gold and a bit of knowledge. Any good? No. Nothing good. In that case, I need to go to war. I do like Rome. I might just go after the Dutch. The Dutch never do very well, so I might just go after the Dutch. They have got this as well. They've got whale. Britain haven't really got. There's no point in me going after Britain. They haven't really got a lot to offer. I would get that, but that's probably better. That's food and metal. Food of oh, both. Say actually, that's probably better. Uh, I get thirty tribute though. The Dutch are the second best, apparently. Uh, 
I've got 55 for Persia, 55 for the Dutch. Oh, the Dutch have got quite a lot of tribute. The Dutch are actually quite good. Um. Should I ally with Greece and attack Germany? Because Germany have got this. And, uh... Ooh, Germany is tempting. It's two on one. Fuck no, well I've got this. But then they've got that. 5% boom. And market is better. Their market stuff's better than mine. Russia, Mongo Mongolia, not bad. I don't think anyone's built a wonder yet. Apart from obviously Egypt, they always get that. Oh, the Mayans have got this. That's good in a way. Means the ink can't really do a lot. But they all, they get that. I don't know why they go for 10% boost. I would go for this and get the wonder. Because the wonder means you get a boost after like getting to like Civ level 4 every battle. So you're at, I think I made the same error though. I went for this when I played as the, uh, as the Inca. But really, you're best going for this, but then you do get an army. Or at least go for this, and then once you've got that, go for this. Because that is like advancement for ages by 15% as well. So you get cheap advancement for age. The Inca are probably the best team in the game, oh, like one of the best teams in the game. Because they've got, they get a wonder. Fifth, they get a wonder, 10% more economy, and they get money back from their from everyone. So the Inca probably are one of the best teams in the whole game. Like, the like for long the longer the game goes on, the Inca get better. Like if you're in World War II and you can probably survive an hour, you're not gonna lose as the Inca because you get 25% gold back for everyone who dies. So you've got unlimited gold. And you can get like 700 gold, so gold's like unlimited, pretty much. They're quite good because you can get the sabotage as well. They're quite good though, so you can get sabotage, like you could win that battle, then attack this, get another army, sabotage, boom, level 2, easy win. Yeah, anyway, I'm going a bit off topic here, so the next part, I'm going to attack the Dutch thing. Uh, they've got two armies, but so have I. If I attack Germany, it's a 2 on 1. At least I go for the Dutch. I've got some help. I could attack Spain. What does Spain have? Enemy use. Fatrish and Dark Units, 20% more hit points is pretty good. If I wipe out Rome, which I don't really want to do because I like Rome, I get this, I guess I get the Sahara Desert, that's it. I want to keep Rome alive because they might wipe out Egypt. That's what I'm hoping they do. Because basically with, e with Rome you can either go here, attack the Dutch and, and Germany, or you can go down here to Sahara and attack the, the Egyptians. Slash maybe like the Spanish later on, or the Bantu, or the Nibians. But you only have one army, so you're very limited. Really need to attack this and probably attack this, get two like, to get two like, uh, armies. And once you've got two armies, one, like double team this. Yeah, I might go and brave it, go for the door, so I'll see you for the next part. Bye for now.